Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. And I'm here by the water because the summertime is the time to go to the water. And I'm here at Temple Heights in Maine, and I'll be back here the third week of August serving the camp. I'll also be down in Niantic, Connecticut at Pine Grove Spirituals Camp the last week of June. So if you want to learn something about astrology, or if you'd like to learn more about the psychic and spiritual development, here's two great places to come to. So it's Pine Grove Spiritualist Church in Niantic, Connecticut in the last week of June, and Temple Heights here in Maine the third week of August, starting August 14th. And now here's what's coming for you for July. The month begins with a beautiful Venus-Jupiter sextile. Taurus, the month begins with a beautiful Venus and Jupiter sextile that connects your third house of the mind with your fifth house of pleasure. You have a green light for travel, fun, and new experiences. Your mind is curious, so tackle any intellectual challenges that come your way. Start a new course that will develop your analytical skills. You may experience a great deal of pleasure discussing ideas with other people, and you may be able to express yourself with the power of drama. The Sun and Mercury oppose Pluto, and Venus squares Uranus on July 7th. Taurus, the Sun and Mercury in your third house of communications, opposes Pluto in your ninth house of understanding. Now, there are ideas and details that need to be handled in our everyday world. Then there are big ideas that move the spirit, and you must balance your mind between the two. The Venus square Uranus in your twelfth house of spirituality warns you, though, not to be manipulated by political or religious fanatics who use fear to cause suffering and chaos. You need to overcome your fears by developing your inner peace. If you'd like to learn more about astrology and spiritual and psychic development, I'll be at the Pine Grove Spiritualist Camp in Niantic, Connecticut, June 19th through 26th, and at Temple Heights in Maine, August 14th through the 20th. I hope you'll stop by. Mercury and Venus will trine Saturn July 19th and 20th. Taurus, the conjunction of Mercury and Venus in your fourth house of foundations will be helpful if you're willing to communicate your feelings without too much emotions. Try to create balance and harmony in the family and life will become less stressful and more enjoyable. This is reinforced by a trine to Saturn in your eighth house of sensuality. It suggests you take an earthly approach to intimacy. Make sure your deeper passions are on the same wavelength as your partner's. And if you're planning to make any future investments, that everyone is on the same page. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. If you'd like to learn more about your own astrology chart and what's coming up for you, just go to my website, professorastrology.com. Go to the readings page, and there you can order your own personal transit chart or natal chart, and you'll learn lots more about astrology and lots more about you and what's coming for you in the next year. Again, I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening, and I hope you get to visit a place like Temple Heights because it's a great place to go, especially in mid-August.